When it comes to jump shots, there are a lot of grades, whether it's release height, release speed, timing, impact, or defensive immunity. There's so many grades you have to worry about, and there's some that maybe you don't have to worry about. You guys are going to see in this video today, I'm using an Andre Drummond bass with an F timing impact. Now, in no world would you think an Andre Drummond jump shot base would work but you can see we got an a plus speed the release height and defensive immunity they're eh, you know not the greatest but they are doable but the real question is can you use a jump shot with an f timing impact i know there are tests 2k labs to they found the statistics and they have said that timing impact isn't really something that you need to be too concerned about but what i'm doing in this video today is actually using it and telling you what it feels like using a jump shot with an f timing impact this is the first time i've done this this year and as you can see with the first shot it is green the main thing with the jump shot is it has to be a decent speed jump shot. You're not going to be able to use an F speed jump shot and be able to get it off in time without getting contested. The next most important thing, in my opinion, is the release height. Because again, if you have an F height, it's going to be a lot easier to get contested. Defensive immunity and timing impact can definitely be argued about. And you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. But so far in this video, you can see... I'm missing some open shots with this F timing impact shot. These are open shots too. Now, is that user error? Probably most likely, but at the same time, using this F timing impact shot, it really felt like I wasn't going to be able to green every single shot I take. It felt like I was always going to miss a shot or two. Now, do I miss a shot or two using jump shots with a good timing impact? sometimes but there are a lot of games actually where i can hit every single shot feel confident about hitting every single shot you can see right here back to back threes i got the sharpshooting takeover i'm greeting for the most part no problem and both of those shots i did miss they said slightly late so it wasn't even like i missed them bad right here he jumps i'm trying to really put this jump shot to the test unfortunately not going to be able to hit reds no matter what the timing impact no matter what defensive immunity is on the jump shot but if i can get open with which, you know, is always the goal you're trying to dribble to get open. You don't want to make a living on shooting yellows, on shooting reds at all in this game. You see he jumps. He's so worried about the Andre Drummond base lighting him up from the three-point line once again. So, honestly, my opinion about timing impact is it does not matter much. I would definitely choose a jump shot with an A-plus speed and an A-plus release height. And if I had to have an F timing impact, I'm going to do that over a jump shot that has a B speed and a B release height. But that's just me, you know. I like to go based on how I'm feeling about something. When it was early year and I was using the badge Space Creator, I was using that because when I put the badge on, I knew it was giving me a big boost to my post hop shots. I knew it was giving me a big boost to my step back jumpers. That was well before there was a test done on it by 2K Labs, 2K Toots, that ended up saying that it does give you quite a big boost. But no matter what their test said, I was absolutely going to run that badge all year. Even if they said it was placebo, I was going to keep that badge on because once I put it on Gold Hall of Fame, whatever my build could get it on, it completely changed the way I was able to play. It's kind of a situation with corner specialists where the tests say that corner specialist doesn't really do anything this year. Now, I have had corner specialist on my builds, and I definitely feel like it does a little something. I cannot lie. Now, of course, if I have to choose other badges that are more important, like catch and shoot, like green machine, of course, green machine, because you want your green window to be as big as it can be on a game that you have to green shots to make him go win that's just one example there are a lot like that but overall this andre drummond base i mean i was definitely greening i was definitely winning i feel like there was a lot of games where i missed you know one shot maybe in right, man right here you know on the stretch big messing up my dribble move sliding out of bounds i was doing that a lot today i'm not sure what it was but like i was saying I feel like every game there may have been a shot or two where I felt like I 100% would have greened it if it was not an F timing impact. But it is interesting, you know, whenever you think of timing impact, maybe it's just me, maybe it's you guys too, you would think that it means the timing of the release. So if it's an A timing impact, you have a bigger window to release it. If it's an F, that means you have to have a very precise release point. But 
an F doesn't really feel like an F. I mean, as you can see, I mean, does this really feel like an F? I'm shooting from Limitless with an Andre Drummond bass. Now, of course, I said it wasn't perfect. It wasn't my favorite thing to do. I definitely think the timing impact is going to matter a little bit. But if I was using an F jump shot speed, I definitely would not be out here able to, you know, shoot as efficiently as I am, be able to create space and get jump shots off like I am. Same thing release height. If I was using an F release height shooting from my chest, I would absolutely affect my game in a tremendous way. But with the timing impact, it's not really affecting me on my game to game basis. There's never going to be a situation where missing one shot is going to be absolutely dire because I got defense. Maybe, you know, if you're playing the 2v2 court, you're more of an offensive player than a defensive player. It can make a big difference. But for me, if I can get one stop, I deserve to lose the game. Let me know what you guys think again in the comments, what you guys think about everything. Time and impact, defensive immunity, release speed, release height. Let me know if you guys use a jump shot that has an F timing impact. If you use a jump shot that has an F any grade, I'd be definitely curious about it. Let me know if you guys use the Andre Drummond jump shot base too. I mean, release speed, solid, release height, solid. You could definitely make this jump shot work. If you want to give it a try, this is not going to be a jump shot I recommend at all. But, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't F letter grade bad like I was feeling like it was going to be before the video started. This is Tonic Man. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.